Hey, we're back! And uh, today I thought we'd follow up, in a way, to my last video on foliage by making a landscape. By working on landscape textures and, and that kind of thing. Which is pretty cool, get some cool effects. It's another one of these foundational topics that I think everyone that uses Unreal Engine should be able to do. And I've got more free stuff for you guys. i got a whole texture pack here. Uh, diffuse, a normal and a specular for three different materials. I know that's fairly old school, but the method that we're going to be using, you can use PBR textures like with your roughness and, and that kind of thing. And it's pretty flexible, it's pretty easy to do, but before we, uh, before we put our, our landscape down, well all I've done is just duplicated my third person tutorial mesh, deleted all the objects, and made the post process and the light mass volume just really really big, because we're going to need, need the size. Uh, so, let's get into it. Let's, uh, first of all, the first step, we'll just have to make our material. So, we'll call that landscape mat, and open it up. Because when we make our landscape, we're going to have to put the material on it at, uh, at that point. And it's uh, easy enough, so we'll grab, we'll grab just uh, two diffuse textures, our desert and our grass. And we'll put, yeah, we'll just drop them, drop them in our material. So there's desert, what I put grass? Desert and grass. And the way that we paint on a landscape material is with a layer blend node which you'll find up here under landscape, layer blend. And it's just really little at the moment because we have to add layers to it. So we'll hit plus twice and we'll bring these guys down so we can see it. Change this to grass and this to desert. And we want to set them both to LB height blend. And that's about it. That's, uh, that's about it. That adds the different, like the height level to each of these textures, which we'll just plug into the red channel of each texture. Oh, I've gone the wrong way around. <laughs> there we go. So when we plug this into our base color and we'll hit save, we'll be ready to go with our landscape mesh. So back over here in the editor, we'll just put this down out of the way. If we go over to our landscape tab, it will bring up a landscape for us, ready to create. So I'll just drop this on the side while we do this so we can all see the settings. There's our material entry, so we'll just grab our landscape mat and drop it there. There's our grass and our desert popped up. And, okay, down here, these are the important bits uh, down here at the bottom. So the, uh, the sections are all the little, the little blocks within a component, and the sections are made of quads. So, uh, turns out that it's the components in a landscape mesh that carry most of the weight, that, that provide most of the impact on the engine. So, a, as, you'll, as you'll see just here, if we set this to 1x1 one one and 8x8, eight eight, we have a landscape this size, it's the default size, but a, uh, a landscape that's 2x2 two two and 4x4, four four, as you can see, is the same size, and it has half the, half the total components. We're from 32 down to 16. So that saves a lot on uh, optimization, and it's the same resolution as the, as the bigger default landscape. So we can go ahead and hit Create. And there we have it. There's our landscape mesh ready to be worked on. Oh, it's black at the moment. All ah, right, we have to start painting. So over here in layers, we have to hit this create layer info button. We'll go weight blended layer, just hit okay. This is just so that the, the landscape mesh can store the data for each of these layers in these files. And here we have some desert. And I've got the sculpt tool going on now, I think. Ah, sculpting. Yeah, so we can, we can sculpt shapes on the landscape mesh. Uh, we'll jack up the strength, you can see it a bit more clearly. Got like a nice little rolling slope there. I think I buried my player start. <laughs> oh, wrong mode. Because we'll need this in a little bit. We can hit play and just have a look and see what it's like at the moment. So not so good, but we're going to be fleshing it out. We're going to build this out a bit more so it does start to look a bit better. For one thing, if you go to the landscape tab again and go over to paint, click the desert layer, or whichever layer you want to paint with, uh, you can paint on desert. It'll have to recompile the shaders when you do this for the first time, but then you should be able to see it in real time, just like this. So that's the basics of, uh, of a landscape mesh and a landscape material, and it even blends quite nicely over here, which is very, very cool. If we go back over to our landscape, we can flesh this out a bit with some more of our textures. So we'll, uh, we'll just duplicate this twice, once for spec and once for normal. And we're going to need our grass spec over here, our 
desert spec, which is here. And then we'll do the same for our normals over here, grass and, and desert. All right, so far so good. Next, uh, well, we can just plug these in right now. Why not? Keeps us ahead of the game. And we'll also need to be manipulating the, the UVs of our textures. So we'll grab our texture coordinates and a multiply node, which you get just by holding an M and clicking on the, on the canvas here. And a scalar parameter, which you get to by holding an S. Call this one grass multi. We'll default it to one for now. Plug them into B. And remembering that this is the scalar parameter for all of our grass, we need the grass from the diffuse, the specular, and the normal. And then we want to grab these three nodes, duplicate them, and we'll change the name of this guy to desert multi, and do the same thing for our desert textures. Just like that. All right, we'll hit save and we'll see how it looks. There she is, so it's recompiling. We'll go over to sculpt. It's worth playing around with the sculpting. It's just there's lots of different ways you can you can manipulate the, the landscape mesh. Personally, I like to use the noise. Uh, where is it? The noise tool. Uh, for building out shapes, just gives a little bit more irregularity in it. Makes somewhat more natural slopes. We'll get some height going on now because what we're about to see is uh, what we do with the cliff, the cliff texture. So if I just uh, get some shapes going. Oh, that's sinking in for some reason. We'll switch back over to the sculpt just for easier. Quicker mountain range, build ourselves up a nice little mountain range. Some shiny slopes, so they look kind of kind of gooey, kind of uh, soft and spongy. If we use one of these erosion tools, like the, let's say hydro erosion, got to set the brush down quite small and you can like, carve in some sharper tracks in the, in the faces of your hill. And uh, yeah, you can get really artsy, spend all sorts of time just playing with the landscape mesh and, and manipulating rocky slopes and that kind of thing. Uh, for now though, let's head back to our materials because it's time to instance our landscape material. Now, in our selection mode, click the landscape, head to details, and we should be able to change the material over here. Done and done, and we'll open it up. Now we can manipulate these UV values and uh, try and try and uh, make the ground look a little bit more natural. I think uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.3-ish. And we'll hit play. So it's just a matter of getting into the level and uh, checking out the ground and, and sort of dialing it in until something feels natural. So we're, we're kind of getting there. We can lower these even further if we say 0 0.15 for each of them. Yeah, it's a bit better. Kind of looks like a remember Halo 1, you know, for the original Xbox. These are fairly stylized textures. I thought they'd be kind of fun, kind of striking, and they blend together really, really well. So. If you would like to pick up these textures for yourself to play around with them, I will uh, put a link in the description below for an asset download. Uh, if not though, uh, just make your own make your own textures, make sure that they tile. I used XNormal to, to produce the normal maps for these, which is a, a free tool, but perhaps Quixel Suite might be a bit better. So uh, let's just keep sculpting away for a little bit further. We'll get the other, the other erosion happening. Just for a bit more bit more variance in our in our slope. Get some interesting interesting lines going on. All right, let's get back into our material. So let's uh, let's put our our cliff textures in. So we'll go. Oh, where are we? All right, let's grab these. Oh, no, just these two nodes. We will need three though. And these are going to be our cliff. So cliff diffuse and cliff spec and cliff normal now these guys they're going to interact with the landscape mesh slightly differently they're not going to be painted layers uh, like our like our other two materials instead we're going to use this guy the world aligned blend world aligned blend there it is and let's grab a couple constants i'll just use these figures that i came up with earlier but uh 
you know, feel free to adjust, feel free to experiment. That's what it's all about. Minus 2.2 and seven. These will go into the blend sharpness and the blend bias. It's controlling the angle and the sort of uh, radical fade, I guess the edge of the fade between the, between the cliff textures and the other textures. It's gonna be putting the cliffs on the, uh, the vertical slopes, like on the sides of the mountain range. So we'll get ourselves some lerps here to lerp in between what we got and our cliff. Just hold in L and click the canvas. And we want these values in A. So if you get these the wrong way around, uh, bad things can happen. And we'll put the others into B. Just like that, and use our world allowed blend alpha as the alpha for our lerps on diffuse and specular, but we want to use the with explicit normals on our normal material. And then plug them in where they need to be. And of course, we're also gonna need these three nodes again for our cliff, for our cliff UVs. So let's just rename this cliff multi and we'll plug him into all three. And that's about done. So we can save this. And then when we check our instance, you can see our, our third scalar has popped up. Uh, we'll set the standard 0 0.15 like the others. And you can see the cliff is uh, is popping up on the on like the steep slopes, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. And you can see this happen in real time when you sculpt. So if we would cruise back, uh, where am I? Where am I going? So when you when you sculpt with the with the sculpt tool or any tool, and you see when the angle gets above a certain degree, the the texture changes to the cliff. It's very handy. It sort of makes the makes the painting process a bit easier. And there are other nodes that you can toy around with that, that do similar things. Like if you want snow capped mountains for when the landscape's above a certain uh, certain Z value, things like that. Definitely uh, jump in and have a play around with some of this stuff. So we'll just make ourselves a bit of a bit of a mountain range here. You can toy around with these tools. Like if I use flatten, for example, we'll flatten from like flatten ourselves a path through our mountain range. And going back to painting, just paint grass all over it for the time being. Get our desert, we can get a road going through. Even a uh, bit of edging. And if we set the strength down like really quite low, you can sort of fade it around and you can see it blend and it blends really nicely with this method using the, the red channel of the textures to blend, to blend two together. We'll just knit, knit this up a little, little more, a little more. And this can be applied. See, it won't overwrite the, uh, the cliff texture because it's to do with the angle that the slope is on. So get, uh, get some sand happening, some desert. When we hit play. Yeah, we can see the, the landscape in real time. And here's the little pathway we cut through the hills. So all it takes is just some some time, a bit of tender loving care, to uh to get the uh the effects that you like that, that you like. So like getting hard edges on your mountains and that kind of thing. If you want like low rolling hills, you can do things just like get a massive massive brush, set the strength down low, and uh, wait, which one am I using? Smooth. I want sculpt. Here we go. Low rolling hills. We just put some elevation in just like this. Then you can get down like real small and put in some, like some little cliff faces. And I might have to put the strength up a bit more. And you can see the cliff sort of emerging. And then if we get the flatten tool and starting from the top of our cliff, uh, we can make that really pronounced. And then if we go back to our smooth tool and put the strength up quite high, you can flatten this all back out again for, for that you know, natural looking cliff edge. So we'll hit play and we'll have a look. So already we can see that, you know, just how powerful landscape meshes can be. And then they're, they're capable of some great effects. Makes the, the basic framework of your, of your, of your whole level. And one last thing before we go, I'll just move my modes uh, back down to the bottom here. 
Yeah, we'll go to the foliage tab. And you guys remember remember last video we made foliage? So we got some foliage in here. Uh, we'll, we'll get the painting happening. Paint some foliage around the place. Maybe up the density as well. Real thick foliage. Remember to hold and shift to erase if you if you go in the wrong places. And back over here, if we get into our materials, oh no, they're in meshes, the foliage. And we open up our instance. See, if the color's wrong, like if they don't match up, we've, uh, we've taken steps to fix this. We've got our tint. We've got our tint in our material. So we can manipulate this until we get a, a more sort of compatible value. Adjust these, adjust the tint amount. until something looks like looks like what we want. Close that, hit play. Yeah, foliage. So that shine that you see on the on the landscape there, I mean, we've done materials before, so we know how to how to do these kinds of things. Make yourself a new scalar. This one the spec amount. I mean we've done materials before. We we sort of know what we're what we're doing when it comes to adjusting adjusting scalar values like this. So we'll just default this one to this guy to one. And you see what I'm gonna do? You see what I'm gonna do? If we go from the, the specular node over by the lerp at the end and we plug that into our multiplier and then that into our specular, we'll have a scalar parameter to play with with our instance. Just saving the material. We'll drop back. It'll compile again. In the meantime, we'll bring up our instance. And there we have our specular amount. So we can just drop that to zero. Cut it out entirely. 0 0.5. Still a bit much, 0 0.1. Still not enough, 0 0.25. Yeah, that'll do. And there you have it, landscape meshes in Unreal Engine. Goes really well with your foliage. Anyway, that's it from me for this one. I hope you guys liked it. I will see you in the next video.